Brown is not the only site in Cameron County that played a role in the Civil War. One small town holds a historical marker. It tells the story of a bloody battle that took place during that era. Our Marlene Rodriguez takes us back. This place was a, a very key place for during the Civil War. La Trucia, a quiet colonia in Cameron County, captured the attention of President Abraham Lincoln more than 150 years ago. Lincoln wanted to take hold of this area because they wanted to make sure that the uh, Confederates didn't have any money coming in or supplies. But this was where the Confederacy and uh, also Mexico was getting all their supplies throughout the world. 40 to 60 Union soldiers used Las Rusas as a port lookout station. And then on June 25, 1864, a showdown began between the two opposing sides of the Civil War. Yes, the battle here was uh, didn't take very long. Uh, they, uh, they had a, a skirmish, what they call a skirmish, and this was where they actually, uh, Rip Ford had about 240 men, and they attacked uh, the Union Army that was here. This shotgun was made in the 1860s and was used during the Civil War, but was cut short so it could be easier to use on horseback. They retreated for a little bit, tried to get more horses, and uh, then uh, uh, Refugio was sent to the side, and he uh, kind of like overtook the uh, the army or the 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 uh, forces that were there. Refugio Benavides was a local politician and Confederate officer. He assembled 85 Mexican Texans to join the Confederate States Army, going against Cameron County, who voted against the seating from the nation. The skirmish resulted in the Confederacy reoccupying Brownsville on July 30, 1864, although Brownsville did not want to join them. It was a tragic and bloody battle that resulted in the death of 20 Union soldiers. Today, all that remains is a historical marker that serves as a reminder of the role South Texas had during the Civil War. In La Rusia, Marlene Rodriguez, KVEO, News Center 23.